Today, I'm installing the factory wiring kit for my Harbor Freight folding trailer. I'll show you the process step by step. Plus, I'll show you how to install these awesome rock lights with a waterproof switch. And I'll upgrade this four pin connector to a seven pin connector to make it all happen. I'll also be showing you a few tips and tricks to make this installation a whole lot easier. Here are all the lighting supplies that came in my trailer kit. We've got these two tail lights right and left. I've got marker lights and hardware here. Then we've got this wiring harness with some accessories. I've got these two L brackets and then we've got this license plate bracket. Let's get this thing opened up and see what's inside of here. All right, looks like we've got these wire nuts, some screws, then we've got some terminal ends, body clips, and these inline wire connectors. All of the wiring for this trailer is 18 gauge wire. I picked up a roll of 18 gauge wire because I'll show you a little later in the video, I'm gonna be running a separate ground wire to my tail lights and to my marker light. This trailer only came with six of these wire clips, which in my opinion is not gonna be enough. I picked up this box of 50 on Amazon for $7.99. I'll put an affiliate link for this and the other products in today's video in the description down below because you're gonna need more of these. Let's get this wiring harness installed. This four pin connector has two pairs of wires that come off of it. It has a green and a brown and a yellow and a brown. The green and the brown are gonna go down the right side of the trailer and the yellow and brown are gonna go down the left. The instructions call for using a self-tapping screw and a quarter inch hole to attach the ground wire to the frame of the trailer. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be running an individual ground wire to the marker lights and to the tail lights. The instructions also say to leave 18 inches of wire from the end of the coupler. I'm going to attach the green and the brown wires down the rails of the passenger side of the trailer, and then I'll do the yellows down the driver's side. I used eight of these wire clips to go down each side. I've left them loose for now, but here is the basic positioning of them. I'll also be using some zip ties to tighten things up, but you wanna leave Plenty of room where the trailer folds at the pivot points so that you don't pinch your wires. To attach the tail lights, we have quite a few of these M10 bolts left. We'll use those to mount the L brackets. The driver's side tail light also holds the license plate bracket. To connect the tail lights, I'm gonna use the blue wire nuts that came with my lighting kit. And these are just gonna go Brown to brown, yellow to yellow, white to white. Wait, wire nuts? Well, if that's all you have access to is the wire nuts that came with this kit, I won't judge. Be sure to use some electrical tape because this is not a weatherproof connection. I'm gonna be using these heat shrink butt connectors. 210 for about nine bucks. This is a great value and they're weatherproof. These butt connectors are really easy to use. If you've never used them before, you're really gonna like using these. So you just trim your wires back about three eighths of an inch on the insulation, slide your butt connector over, and then you crimp the metal insert inside the butt connector. And after you've attached both sides of the wire, you take a heat gun or a micro torch and you just melt the plastic and it makes a nice weather tight seal. Now the hardware that came with these marker lights is pretty small. I'm using a 930 second socket, but I'm pretty sure it's metric. Here you can see I used a razor knife to cut a relief in the back of this marker light because if I don't do that, then it won't lay flat against the rail. If you've never used one of these inline connectors, these are pretty simple. You can see here, I've split the brown and the yellow line. The brown line is gonna be the marker light. I just slipped the inline connector over the brown wire. 
Next, I'm gonna insert the brown wire from the marker light into this connector, just like that. And then we're going to pinch this thing together. These are not waterproof, so I use some electrical tape, at least to make me feel better. As for the ground wire, I'm going to leave it there for now because I'm going to be running an independent ground wire from all four lights back to the four pin connector. Over here on the passenger side, we're going to be doing the same thing for the marker light using the brown wire. I've cut two lengths of this 18 gauge ground wire, the length of the trailer from the hitch to the back. I'm going to run one down each side. Now we're going to connect the ground wire to the marker lights with the same inline connectors. Let's talk about wire routing and the pinch points on this trailer when it folds up. Right here where the tow bar is attached to the trailer is one of those points. You need to make sure that you leave enough wire. Another pinch point is down here at these hinges. You can see I've left enough wire in there so that it doesn't get on a bind. If you're going to use the factory four pin connector, you're going to want to attach your ground and secure the wires. But I'm upgrading to this seven pin connector so that I can install these awesome rock lights. The first thing I'm going to do is shorten up this seven pin cord. This thing is pretty long and I only need it to be three foot. On one end of this, it's a seven pin connector and the other end is this junction box. I'm connecting ring terminal ends to each of these wires. I'm just using a crimping tool to fasten them on. You can pick up these ends at any AutoZone or O'Reilly's or my affiliate link in the description. Notice that every wire is a different color. Each color matches up to the colors printed on the terminal bolts inside the junction box. All right, I've got this shortened up now. We're about 36 inches to the center of the box. So we've just connected uh, the wire right to this terminal block, 36 inches long, so that we can get this thing mounted to the trailer. This junction box is the perfect place to mount the waterproof rocker switch that will control my rock lights. I used an inch and a quarter Forstner bit to drill the hole. Here's my plan for installing these rock lights. There are six lights that come with the Nylite kit. I'm going to put one light on each of the four corners and then I'll mount one light behind each wheel. I'll be locating the control box somewhere in the center of this trailer. The Nylite rock lights are multicolor capable and have Bluetooth app control built in. Switching from color to color is easy. You can do it right from your smartphone. You can also sync your lights to your music library. Before we install these rock lights, I want to take a second and tell you about my boots. About eight months ago, Brunt Workwear sent me a pair of their boots to try. And I've been wearing them around in the shop for about eight months now. I did not clean them up for this video. This is what they look like every day when I put them on. They've held up pretty good. If you'd like to give these boots a try for yourself, I'll put an affiliate link in the description down below. And if you use it, it'll really help out the channel. Use code MrFreds10 at checkout to get $10 off your pair of boots. Here's everything that came in the Nylite Rock Light Kit. We've got six of these LED rock lights. We've got the control box. We've got some instructions and then hardware for each of the lights. There's also these two rubber mounting blocks that came for each of the light. It's pretty cool because one of them is rounded so that you could mount it to some tubing and then the other one's flat. Flat is what we're gonna be using on the trailer. Installing the actual lights is pretty straightforward. I'm just drilling two holes with the 1164th drill bit. Each one comes with a little bolt, a little flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. I 
all six of the LED rock lights are mounted. I've got two in the rear, two behind the wheels, and two at the front of the trailer. And I made sure that the wires are not gonna get pinched when the trailer folds over. And let me show you where I mounted the control box. All of the wires from the six LED lights are gathered to this central point. Eventually, this box is gonna mount to the bottom of the sheeting that I end up putting on there. But for now, I'm just gonna zip tie this thing uh, right to the side of the trailer and we're gonna run the power lines up to the junction box. All the connectors on this kit are waterproof. They're pretty cool. There are four pins that go in. There's a rubber gasket. It's threaded and it just screws together. I've got a positive and negative line run from the rock light control box along the trailer up here to the seven pin connector junction box. I've got to hook those up, but we also have to hook up the trailer light wires. I've got my yellow and brown pair for the driver's side and my green and brown pair for the passenger side. And then we also have the common ground wire that we ran to the two marker lights and the two tail lights. Let's get all those tied in with our switch. I've added a waterproof switch to control the power supply for the rock light. Here's what we've got going on inside the junction box. This is the bundle coming from the trailer. It's got our green and brown pair and our yellow and brown pair with our white common wire. This junction box makes a great attachment point to make these connections. Both the brown wires from the trailer are gonna go to the green lug bolt. The right turn signal green wire is gonna go to the brown lug bolt. The yellow left turn signal from the trailer is gonna go to the red lug bolt. All of the white common ground wires are gonna go to the white lug bolt. For my rock light pair of wires, we've got this positive and negative. So the positive line's going up to the switch and the negative is going down to the white ground lug. Coming out of the switch, we've got a ground wire that's also going to the round lug. To pick up power for the switch, we're gonna hook up the red wire to the green lug because that's the running lights and it's always hot. This little guy is waterproof because it's got this little rubber gasket on there, which is gonna make it really nice in the rain. Here's all the connections I've made inside this junction box. If you need to hit pause, you can do that now. That way you can see where I've hooked up all of my wires. This seven bit connector with a junction box seriously made it super easy for me to hook up these trailer lights. Although Harbor Freight's trailer wire color coding was different than my tow vehicle, might be the case for you. So here is the color code chart. I'll put it right here in the video. So if that's the case for you, you just kind of switch your wires around until you get them to start working. I think my wires that were different were turn signals and running lights. <laughs>